Hi everyone. The book of Proverbs says that when your enemy falls, you should not rejoice. Believe me, I take no joy in seeing Candace Owens fired by the Daily Wire. This should have happened two years ago when her defamation of the Jewish people started in earnest and when she began defending the Hitler-loving Kanye West, her bestie. Why Ben Shapiro waited two years is something that we will find out. In the meantime, all of our family's legal claims for her defamation of me as a murderer, allegedly, you know, et cetera, the things that she said about our family, the gross defamation and potential incitement to violence remains. But I have to give credit where credit is due. We don't, we Jews do not seek to fight. We do not seek to battle. We are the people of the book. We're not the people of the sword. But there's a new generation of Jews conceived in liberty and born in freedom. And we will never again allow someone like Candace Owens to defame us, destroy our names, and lead to the kind, God forbid, of violence that we saw in the 1930s or Jews, as Jews are slowly defamed. Remember, Candace Owens, according to the New York Post, was principally fired after she liked a tweet against me that said that I, as a rabbi, enjoy drinking Christian blood. Those days of the blood libel, Israel committing genocide, they're over. We're going to fight like crazy. But I have to give credit where credit is due. My daughter, Rachelea, who is a Rebetzin in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, at the Beis Mashiach community uh, and at the Shtetl, her own community, and who is one of the most ferocious lionesses for the Jewish people, uh, one of the most beautiful, one of the most eloquent, and one of the most pure, just her total dedication to the Jewish people. She fought a, an unrelenting battle to expose every lie that Candace Owens said about the Jews over the course of two years. She chronicled it, she posted it, other people would later, uh, you know, claim credit. But this isn't about credit. This isn't about who brought her down. It's about a father telling a daughter how proud I am of you. Not because, and I'm sorry for Candace Owens. I'm sorry she's having a psychotic meltdown. I really am. I hope that she really gets the help that she needs. I say that sincerely. That doesn't excuse what she did. If she publicly apologizes to me and my family, we may not pursue any legal claims. I, have, I take no joy in her downfall, as I said. It would have been better had there been not no anti-Semitism in the world in general, and in particular from Candace Owens on the Daily Wire, owned by a yarmulke wearing Ben Shapiro, who allowed it for two years. But baby girl, Rachaleo, I call her Baba. I'm so proud of you, Medela, because you didn't do this out of spite or vengeance or dislike of anyone. You did it out of pure love of justice, love of humanity, love of the the a spark of God that exists in every human being and love of the Jewish people who have suffered enough and been brutalized for 2,000 years and the victims, the innocent victims, the 1,200 who were slaughtered by Hamas and 140 who are still hostages to Hamas who have to be released. Baba, you did it for them and your father could not be more proud. Happy Purim, everybody. But now, Fechu, Haman was brought down on Purim and all the modern Hamans that want to take down the Jewish people from Iran to Hamas to Hezbollah to the lesser Hamans, I admit, of course, lesser Hamans, the Candace Owens of this world, the Nick Fuentes, you will meet your downfall, not, God forbid, in any violent way, that's never what we Jews want, but we, you will meet your downfall in being held accountable for the lies and defamation you say against the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.